shoot. Cur current. We are now in part 2 in, in preparation of our collaboration lab. On this topic, I will discuss about how you will configure your switches. So we will create the VLANs, we will create an interface VLANs, we will configure the trunk between the router and also the ESXi server, we will add the NTP server and DNS server. As you can see on the previous uh, part, we inst we configured the sub interfaces sub on 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 the uh, on previous configuration in our router. As you notice that we configure the interface sub interfaces sub interface 10, 12, 100, 101, 200, and 201. On a switch, we will create interface VLAN. Okay? On a router, we create some interface, but in the switch, we will create interface VLANs. So, I will create interface VLAN 10, 12, 11. It's the same uh, name from the router sub interfaces. Okay? So, the description will be the same. So. First, we need a putty to access our switch. Okay. Then we'll use serial and then open. And then this is our switch. Okay. Okay, so now we will let's see, let's see. we will enter the switch. Okay, first we have to do is the host name. We will change the host name. Config t host name. Oh, sorry, I e enable and then config t and then host name switch one. Okay. And then we will create VLANs. So to create a VLAN, something like this: VLAN, VLAN 10. The name uh, I will name it domain controller. Okay. So this is the VLAN for domain controllers or the Windows Server 2016. S then we will create another VLANs but I will paste it so that we will be fast we will create 12 100 to 201 copy okay there's some issue that they said it exceeded the recommended length of character it's okay for me I forgot to make it shorten but so now we created already the VLAN so if you can see show VLANs so now we have VLANs okay next we will create we will create we will configure the port okay which port 124 on our we will configure this port okay the connection going to my home router so that I can access the AXS, AXSI server okay once you slash 24 okay. I will copy it to make it fast config t okay we're done next we will configure this trunk once you slash 2 and one zero slash one so we'll make it in one okay. so 
I will just exit. So in the config, I will paste it. Uh, copy. So that we're passed. So I already configured once is once slash zero slash one slash zero slash two. So it means we configure this and we configure this. So we'll configure this two for our data VLANs and voice VLANs. So. I will paste it so that we will be fast just post the video if you feel it is fast copy so now it's okay but they said the voice VLAN 201 is not being created so we'll see show VLAN as you can see the 201 has no proper name so we'll correct this config t in the uh, vlan and 201 uh, we, will, we will name this as 201 is hr description the description is hr boys okay copy oh. ah name HR department voice okay so we're done as you can see show VLAN we are okay the VLAN 201 also there's an issue config t config VLAN 201 no description description ah sorry name HR department boys show run a complete show VLAN so now it's correct okay next we will create interface VLANs so to create this interface VLAN no, wait a minute I will create Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, next, correct. We will create the interface VLAN. Sorry to create interface VLAN. I will create first the interface VLAN for VLAN 1. So, why we need this? So that interface VLAN will communicate with the one and two one six it that one that zero subnet okay so I need that so config t then I will I will copy and paste my config because so that this will be passed so I put an IP and then next I will create interface VLAN 10 up to 200 one I will copy also paste so we're done all the interface VLAN is up now then we need to create two IP routes okay I need to create an IP route going here I need IP route going here okay Okay, so IP route is done. Next, we will set the NTP server. So, NTP server 192.168.1.250. So, 1.250 is the router. 
So we're telling the, the switch that our NTP server is the router. Okay. Press enter. And then we need also the IP name server. Okay. And domain. Copy so that it will resolve the DNS if we type google.com something like this. Okay. So I will copy paste so I'm pointing to Google DNS and also in our in my router and also I put in my domain name okay let's try to not sure in 8.8.8.8 ah. being Google com now it's okay successful ping 8.8.8.8 .8 successful if you will ping our NTP server 192.168.100.250 I believe and, uh, 250 I think I'm wrong. It should be one. One the two fifty. Okay, where's the one the two fifty came from? One the two fifty is from here, this port. The inside port of the router. This is the outside, this is the inside. So we you will be pointing the NTP so that can communicate on the router. So if you can check NTP show NTP status. So we are synchronized. So meaning we are okay. Well, what else? I think we're done. Okay. Write or copy running config to start up config. 